Mexico City's itinerant musicians are celebrating their country's return to a relatively normal life. The government has put an end to most of the restrictive measures it had implemented in order to contain the H1N1 flu epidemic. Meanwhile, hospitals are reporting that the worst of the crisis is over. Dr. Herrera, who heads this facility, wants to show us that everything is now under control. Very few patients are showing up under this tent with suspected cases of H1N1. And when they do, they're rapidly taken care of, according to the doctor. Further on, the doctor grants us access to the intensive care unit. He says that this is where Mexico is winning the battle against the H1N1 virus. According to the doctor, there are very few patients here, and there is a simple explanation to why these ones are in such a critical state. Finalmente, de lo que se mueren las personas de una infección de este tipo no es necesariamente de lo que produce, no es del virus, no es la infección del virus, es cómo responde el cuerpo a la infección. Y eso no depende del estrato socioeconómico, eso depende de la respuesta individual de la, del paciente. In the capital city and all over Mexico, authorities have noted a stabilization in the number of contaminations. The government pins these results on the work of public health agents and the population who paid close attention to official recommendations. Lo importante yo creo que es eh, en estos momentos no bajar la guardia. Si se sienten algunos de los síntomas, pues estamos en el momento adecuado para todavía combatirla. Eh, esperemos que, que no siga mayores. ¿no? Patients will continue to have access to free screenings like this one for a few more days as doctors work on tracking down every single case of H1N1 flu. Mientras salgan casos nuevos, Todavía tenemos que implementar las medidas y esto no se elimina hasta detectar el último caso positivo. Most Mexicans say they feel reassured while knowing that their country isn't fully off the hook yet. The capital city has recovered some of its hustle and bustle, but everyone here is paying close attention to the evolution of the pandemic.